you should take it that you are a good loser and not a sore loser. It is very degrading in Nigerian politics that people don't want to accept winning. They say they don't want to accept uh, being a loser. They see winning as their bad right. And they want to do everything conceivable to ridicule the man that has won in order to show themselves as the, uh, the, uh, the, the authoritarian uh, power that has the right to win. Why will Obi go to court? Does he think he is the only person blessed by God to have the opportunity to contest and win? Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, welcome to this YouTube channel. If today, first time you see this channel, make enough it to hit on the subscribe button. If you don't subscribe before, thank you and God bless you. And today, the first time you see this Facebook page, speaking this blog, make enough it to like and follow this page for more videos or updates to come your way. My people, wonder shall never end. Obedient, share this video. Guys, I won't drop this video, make on a watch. Make on a hear from this, then a tunable person or color mo. Some of these Yoruba people where they think say, now tribalism will come wrong for Nigeria. Guys, take your time, watch this video. Make I give you a time. Make on a hear the kind of nonsense thing where they come out from this man's mouth. He said, me Peter or Big O congratulating me, boo. Like, I don't get it. Upon everything where they do, Peter or B. He said, Peter or B don't win this election. Where everywhere shows say they rip Peter Obi, they take with him a lot of Peter Obi, give out to Tinibu. Guys, make a drop this video. Please share this video. All these old men, eh? I don't know how they want me to the beat them. Guys, please do me a favor. Share this video. Let this video move. More than tell this old man, say, man, Tinibu no win. If now you're about, you're about what they want for the Nigeria, eh? See, may they let them know, say, we go chase all of the commands. Peter will be now. We need as president for Nigeria, not be Chinubu. Watch this video, hear what this man talk. Then you go know the kind of comments we won't give this man. See you guys, man. Then you stay safe, guys. And bye bye. Is is in the last hands already. Now we'll take its cost. Come again. Yeah, they're supposed to be fast track it before then. I believe it. I believe that we have at least we have law in this country and we are supposed to respect the law. We have a, a lot of laws that can guide us in a, 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 a things like that. Why do you <laughs> the election was something else. It was rigged. It was, in fact, is a blood is a blood blood day, uh, uh, blood day rigged. So I don't think it will hold. Swearing as what you in that day, I don't think it will hold. That is my belief. The INEC didn't do the needful things for my own observation. Meanwhile, they're supposed to give some time frame before announcing the winner. They haste to, they haste to announce the winner instead of going through because right there in the uh, collection centers, a lot of party members, returning officers are have, giving complaints about some particular places that they have a lot of violence. But Professor Mahmoud couldn't listen to anybody. He decided to maybe if you didn't believe in a in an election outcome of the election you should go to court so i believe that the judiciary will do the needful um you know it's it's on its own part it's justified he's trying to fight for his uh, mandate so hopefully he gets uh, the mandate that he's looking for i don't know it depends on the government mechanism i don't know how it will work it might and it might not it depends Ah, that is on the judiciary. If the judiciary still have elements of uh, integrity, why not? Yeah, of course, we should have faith in our judiciary now. I, I cannot say that. Mm? I can't. I can't. Everything is on the part of the judiciary. So, when they speak, I think that is it. I... Uh. In my opinion, it has to do with the court, like the Nigerian judiciary system. So it's the speed at which they hear the case that will decide if it will be uh, signed before May 29 or by May 29. So uh, whether I think they rigged the election, it's, it's not for me to say, but you know the election, it was marred by so many things, so many irregularities ballot box snatching and voters intimidation here and there mm -hmm. tribal sentiment and the election to me uh, uh, if you ask me I would say it wasn't it wasn't fair yeah it wasn't fair 
Do you think they will surely restore their mandate? <laughs> That's what the courts decide. It's not my opinion. Um, the situation of Nigeria now is just all about partisans and um, who will really our interest for the petition. I don't think it will. I don't really think it will because most persons in the government, the judiciary, they are for the present government, and it will be difficult for them to really make it work before that 29. Because once this month comes comes in this 29, governments have, have changed, and the judiciary will indirectly be taking power from him. So I don't think everything, they will slow down everything so that he comes in as the government. I don't think it will, there will be anything tangible before that 29. Uh, to me, to me, I believe in one Nigeria, I believe in um, a good governance. Mine is not about party or individual. Mine is about restructuring and a country that will be favorable for we, the youth. Because as it stands now, Man, we just really need someone that will really do better so that we'll have future. That is just what it is. And these are just a lot of promises that previous governments are saying. So he's, he, there is no different for him saying he will stop fuel subsidy. Yes, the, the first subsidy is a good idea if he stops it and channel the money into better things. It will be better so that Nigeria will be a producing nation, not a consuming nation. All those things are just propaganda. It has a um, political tune. So to me, all those things are just political tune. Sit at home or not sit at home. What well, we need is a good uh, In elections, people win and people may lose. The issue is that there is no one that is uh, susceptible to winning and not losing. What I'm saying in essence is that it's a game that should be fair. If you win, people will recognize the fact that you won. And per adventure, you, you lose in any election. You should be a glamorous loser who have the capability to congratulate the person that has won. Win is no bad right in politics. If you do everything necessary at your hand and you still lose, you should take it that you are a good loser and not a sore loser. It is very degrading in Nigerian politics that people don't want to accept winning. They say they don't want to accept uh, being a loser. They see winning as their bad right. And they want to do everything conceivable to ridicule the man that has won in order to show themselves as the, uh, the, uh, the, the authoritarian uh, power that has the right to win. Why will Obi go to court? Does he think he is the only person blessed by God to have the opportunity to contest and win? What does he have that others don't have? What has he gotten? What is his proof that he is the one that has the right to lose? You can see from the beginning of the election, when other candidates were going around to, to, to prepare for their winning, Obi was going around with a class of people to ridicule others, insult others, and, uh, and uh, threaten other people that they feel are against them. That is not politics. That is aggression. That is uh, what they call uh, uh, these people terrorize. It's an act of terrorism. When you go around thinking that you are the utmost person that must win. Now, we cannot tolerate this kind of people in Nigeria. And I'm telling you, this opportunity he has, if he has taken it in good faith that he has lost and he comes out the next time, many Nigerians, and including me, will stand behind him that give this man opportunity. But with this trend he's going, to show that he's a damaging politician, somebody who does want order to rule but uh, himself, then I will not um, stand behind him. I think what he should do is to congratulate Ashwajo for having won this election and wait for the next time. There's always the next time. Does he not think he has next time? Does he think his time will expire before next time? Does he think that people will not appreciate him if you come out the next time? He shouldn't take this his first time as utopia, that no other Nigerian will stand be behind him next time. He should appreciate the fact that God gave him an opportunity to contribute, uh, to, to play, to be part of this uh, present election. And for the fact that he has lost, he should wait for his next time. He shouldn't go to court. He should withdraw the case and let Nigerians be behind him. But if he insists on fighting a Yoruba man who won, Yoruba man will not stand behind him next time. And let's see the Aousa Fulani who will want him to win. This is the problem Sibos have. Ibos are not in good times with Nordanas. No Nordanas will want them to win. And now their brother in the West has won and they are fighting. Let's see what happens next time. Let's see the Yoruba man who will go behind them. Thank you.